Hello there. We are on the way driving to a winery which is in Dadabellapur. This place is around 40 km away from Bangalore and it's in the north part of Bangalore and it is in the state highway 9 between Hindapur and Bangalore. The main source of income for people over here is through agriculture. Also this place is famous for the vineyards over here. One of the famous wineries over here is the Grova Zamba Winery. So we drove all the way from Bangalore to visit this famous winery. Visitors are greeted with a lovely pond of fish with a Buddha statue welcoming all. There's a lovely sprawling lawn for visitors to come and sit over there and enjoy the beauty of nature. Hello and welcome to another episode of Travel Chef and this is a winery and this is called Grover Zamba Vineyards. Yeah, <laughs> and this is in Dodabalapur and this is uh, in the interior part of Karnataka. So apparently yeah, we are going to take a tour around this place. Come on along with us and let's explore this uh, winery. Wow, as soon as we get into this place, it's like a lounge or oh, five star hotel. and yeah uh, they have a lovely garden where you can have lunch and this is the little a little park that they have a lawn where people can sit down and they have a pond i kind of like that pond over there i'll show you about that very soon and this is the marketing of their bottles grover vineyard bottles this is a brut rose that is one of their uh, flagship products then there's another bottle over here this is the la reserve this is also one of the flagship products it's a lovely ambience where you can sit down you can they serve lunch apparently So we thought we'll just spend some time over here and let's taste the food. Well, this is the pond I was talking about and it is so full of fish and it is superb to see them. So we ordered uh, a lunch and uh, we can either have it as a veg or a non-veg uh, lunch and uh, it is 525 rupees per person it's flat and this is the amount they charge so they told the quantity is fitting only just it's appropriate uh, correctly fitting for one person only so uh, let's taste the lunch and let's see how's it so how's it Nice Chinese, I think Chinese one. Oh, okay. It's good. Tasty. Tasty. So, so the this pasta is mixed with vegetables. It's vegetarian pasta, not vegetarian pasta. Uh, this is uh, with carrot, cucumber, uh, capsicum, with the white sauce, including the pasta. I think I can add some. chili flakes yeah i can add some chili flakes actually it gives so extra taste extra spice for spice. the food add some oregano also it's going to be good oregano yeah let's see mix Now it mix up mix it together how's it pretty good pretty good aha yes. uh -huh. <laughs> Not bad. And I'm going to add some <laughs> as Rosma as my wife did. I'm going to add some chili flakes to give the extra spice. Then some oregano. So mix it all together. Mm. 
a lovely blend of the spices come into your mouth first then along with your capsicum a bell pepper pastas Look, I think they have added little. Uh, what is it? I think these are the spinach leaves or something like. Mm. But it's tasty, really tasty. It gives a very good flavor as well as it gives a very good taste. So definitely, I'm feeling hungry. I'm going to dig into it. <laughs> so I'm going to finish my pasta very soon. <laughs> oh, and this is a brownie that we have got. And let's taste the brownie. Our bill came to 1,050. Wow. Actually, the food was good, okay. <laughs> really good. So, but only you have these two menus, sir. Abhi bada aadmi ka rahega, bada group rahega to. Iske liye sab par. Oh, then you'll get more. Oh, okay, okay, good. Just combo. Yeah, this is small over the small thing. Anyway, it was good, tasty food. Just tell the chef. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye, bye, sir. I am waiting for the manager to come be a bit free so that he can he can explain something about the wine. After eating the pastas, I feel I'm like kind of uh, <laughs> already zonked. I started sleeping. <laughs> But anyways, we are good. Let's hope we can meet him soon, and he can explain the wine, and then we can buy the wine too. So wait. Now, Mr. Sushant, who is the head of hospitality in Bangalore, as well as Ms. Sarita, who is the senior winologist, have asked us to come with them to check out their fermentation room and barrel room. So let's go over there and check this place out. We are walking through the fermentation room, which is a huge place with a lot of tanks where wine is being fermented. we were totally amazed by looking at these tanks and we were really curious how much wine these tanks hold this is a liter capacity liter so how much it produces so it is 250 to 30000 liters as different capacity of tanks that we have mm. and uh, almost like in a year's time we do 15 lakh liter wine annually we produce in uh, bangalore our current wine thing so man massive massive 30000 liters And some bigger tanks also on the other side is more twenty thousand liters. What you see. Oh, how do you find the liters? How much is the capacity? How do you say? Each tank it? has a uh, noted on it how much liters it has. Oh, 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 oh yeah. So uh, is it something like sixteen six twenty twenty six? What is this? The date of the tanks. We need to renew the tanks. Oh, you renew the tanks. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is just a maze of tanks, <laughs> and each is around thirty thousand or uh, different different. Oh, so, oh, okay. I get it. Does it to two uh, yeah. twenty liter? So it's two fifty to three. You know, thirty thousand liters. Oh. Uh, very different tanks capacity. Oh, <laughs> and what is this? Has to be air conditioned, or you guys? Uh... Tanks are chilled. So huh. tanks are connected to the chiller. So ah. We do white wines here, red wines here, and some of the premium wines on the other side. Oh, that's how the tank you know are always chilled, chilled throughout the process of fermentation. Wow, because even the climate changes over here. <laughs> So, anything else you could explain to us in this uh, chamber? From what is the difference between that chamber over there and this chamber and the other chamber? It is basically for all white wine fermentation that we carry out. Okay. So, very now the things are already coming to the tanks. Okay. And after chilling the entire tank overnight, the addition of yeast happens and the fermentation starts. Usually, it's a slow fermentation. That's why it's always cooler temperatures. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And it takes the wine to twenty twenty one days to get into the yeast to. Eat up all the sugar, which is naturally present in the grape juice, okay. and ferment further to produce ethanol alcohol over the period of uh, that time. And where you can Indian wines, if you see, are between say 12 to 14 percent of alcohol, not more than that. Oh, okay, okay. So we achieve and we try to keep the essence of the grape with the characteristic of that particular variety to have that particular fruity notes into that particular wine. Super, super. And all this 25, 30 years, yeah. we have been into quality production of wines. Uh, that's how this 15 lakhs also suffices also to 30 percent to export to different countries as well from here. Okay. So, which all countries do you guys export out of? Maximum to France, uh, Japan, UK. Good markets for us. Wow! But France is the major producer of wine. How come we are competing with yeah, them? Yeah, it's majorly you will see the Indian wines are served at the Indian restaurants. Mm. That's how the major focus to serve Indian food with Indian wines. Oh, okay. And that's the biggest challenge. And again, we'll say. 
again, we are working closely with Mr. Rollo, who is from Bordeaux, France, our wine consultant. Oh. So with him itself, we are, that's how we, you know, each and every bottle that we make also have his name on it. So that's how he's a big name and he's a, you know, I would say a flying wine maker. And superb. being from Bordeaux, our wines are majorly on the French style of wine making. Yeah, superb. So, yeah. so from here we'll come further to the barrel room where we age our wines. And perfect, perfect. So now we're entering into the barrel room and uh, this is a very rare opportunity that we are going to. So just stick along with us and let's see this place. The uh, sampling of the wine that we are trying from the oak barrels, which is what you can see is Insignia 2019. Uh, this is 525 litres barrels which is 525 litre barrels, 2019. Yes. So these are our most expensive wine when it comes to the aging as a process. Two years in the oak barrels and then a couple of years inside the bottle for the aging again. So what is this process called? So this is aging. After aging, you're trying a wine which is uh, almost like more than 2019 as in. So almost two years in kind of barrels. And which is more prominent to Shiraz being more quality wise. If you age inside the oak barrels, they come out really good, fruity, enhanced with the oak barrels. The oak integration is really smoother and silky tannins that you get from this, this particular wine. That's what the bottle price is, 6,000 rupees for a wine. Wow. So you can taste yourself to see yeah. the quality, sir. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah. we first we start with seeing the wine, see for the nice color. Uh -huh. As the wine which is in inside the oak barrels, they are much more thicker in consistency. And they will also become slightly golden color or you will see more red mm. hues coming to it. More of red tinge. Mm. So you see, you sure, then you sniff. Yes. More nice. uh, you, will see, <laughs> being a giraffe, you will see it's more dominant yes. towards us. A bit of smoky, a bit of peppery, a bit of woody notes. Yes. And it's best as a color what you can see right now. And then you take a sip and rotate the wine in your palate. Yes. So you sip it down. Just rotate the wine. It's a much tannic, much nice tannins, like nice scenty mm -hmm. tannins, which because of the result of the aging inside the barrel for two years. It's getting more smoother, no, the, more yeah. silky. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You don't feel it like burning through in the... Yeah, because of that you will see all nice good amount of alcohol that just pass through your throat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see nice, uh, you know, behind your ears starting burning sensation. Yeah. Your entire saliva, uh, palate will lose a lot of saliva. This is just to make you understand this feeling is maximum time you will get in your time. So usually the French style wines is more towards dryness, less than two grams of sugar that you consider to be dry. It's a fabulous wine. Fabulous wine, yeah. <laughs> really be nice and toasted to this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. After the tour from the barrel room, Mr. Sushant has taken us to the stores where the different bottles of wine are sold and really tempted us to buy some wine. And this is where they sell their wines. So this is the way different bottles of wines that they have. Wow. So I thought of picking up this wine, wine bottle. In fact, I wanted to get this bottle of wine. This is called uh, mold wine. This is called the Kada wine. And this is little uh, spicy as well as it is. This wine has pepper, turmeric, cinnamon, cloves, uh, tulsi, ginger, cardamom, lemon. So this is the ingredients they make with this wine. So I just wanted to check out this wine. I hope you liked watching our video on how they make wine and uh, actually not the full video. We'll be coming here somewhere in February to, to check out this place once again. 
but the staff, Mr. Sushad was really helpful. They showed us how they mature the bottles of wine, as well as they show the wine is stored. It was a very good experience, and the, you should come here to see this place. In fact, uh, if you like this video, please uh, share, like, and comment on this channel and the video. This will really help us to improve our programming content and our videos too. And our videos too. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, we have bought two wines to which we are going to take it for Christmas. So, in the, for that, we are going to enjoy a Christmas uh, drinking this wine. So, Merry Christmas to you all and Happy New Year. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until the next video, take care, stay safe and see you soon. Signing off from Grover's Yard. Bye-bye. <laughs>